When the Global Challenge 2 was announced, I knew one thing. I wanted to try the duo of Moltres and Comfey. Then I thought, wow, I really need a hard-hitting physical attacker. And I don't know whether it's the hours I've spent watching Pokemon broadcasts, but some sort of subliminal messaging was telling me that Sliverwing is the most OP Pokemon of all time. So I'm about to run down the reasons why Sliverwing should be used on your team. It is the best looking Paradox Pokemon. Let's get on with the battles. So going into battle one, the first thing I see is this Ting Lu and Porygon 2 core. This was used by Alex Gomez and somebody else on his team in one of the recent European regionals. And I know that they're both Terra Poison and I know that this is a very stally team. So I want the Moltres, the Comfey definitely needs to come. And Sliverwing, because you're the one I'm trying to highlight in this global challenge, you're coming. Water Ogre Pond's my other choice just because it hits the Ting Lu for super effective. If it's a Water Urshifu, because I'm unsure what kind of Urshifu it is, it hits that for super effective, the Incineroar for super effective. And if I Terrastalize it, I get the special defense boost. But the idea here is to heal up with my Comfey, boost up my Moltres, and just see if I can get Sliverwing to do something. Oh, I don't need to worry about that because it's Incineroar and Porygon Z. Right. So, do I predict the... Right, let's look at the team. So, we don't really want to be in here with Sliverwing because I can't really afford to do... Yeah, I think I'll go into Comfey and... We just go for an Air Slash. I'm predicting some sort of attack into the Sliver Wing on that turn, so I'm just gonna switch Comfey in. Okay, Fake Out into Moltres, that's fine. They're gonna Trick Room. Um, they get the Trick Room off. Now, do they do something to proc the weakness policy on my... I think I Taunt the Porygon. And I just... Go for an Air Slash into the Incineroar spot. I'm predicting the um, Parting Shot on the Incineroar into the Moltres. They are going to Terrastalize Porygon into Ghost. Poison. Of course it's poison. It's always poison. What were they scared of? Oh, they Terror Blast. Terror Blast into Comfey. Yeah. Okay, we half health. Comfey. Uh, Parting Shot into Moltres. Hopefully Amoongus in. And we... We deal with... Uh, let's see. That looks like Amoongus to me. Oh no, it's Tingle. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> right, so there's the Taunt on the Porygon. I air slash, does nothing, and so that did a lot. Um, Sliverwing. Let's swap Sliverwing in, um, and let's go for a. Protect? We'll go Protect. So, Comfy's phase coming back. In comes Sliverwing. Protect with the Moltres. Tingler wants to Rock Slide. See how much it does to Sliver. Not much. And Terror Blast. And Sliver Wing gets crit. So that's great. Um, 
but we can first impression this Ting Lu. And I'm... Probably gonna fiery wrath. I'm gonna fiery wrath because they'll proc my weakness policy with the rock slide. Um, hopefully, it won't take out Moltres. Um, yeah, that that's the plan. They may they may switch, but I don't think I think this might be an assault vest variant of a Ting Lu. So unless they switch it, they're gonna take this. Uh, oh, they're just gonna switch the Porygon out. Okay. They're going to send out Incineroar. That makes sense. That checks out. We're going to first impression the Ting Lu. We take it down relatively high. Uh, they're going to heavy slam. Wow. Okay. I'm just going to get Fiery Wrath off on both. Uh, obviously, it doesn't do much. Um... But this gives us a free switch into Ogre Pond. And with it being the last turn of Trick Room, we Spiky Shield and we Protect. And we scout what they want to do. We still have Comfey in the back. Sliver Wing, unfortunately, is gone. But it did help us half health this uh, Ting Lu. So every cloud. They withdraw the Ting Lu. And they send out. Porygon. We protect Moltres. And we spiky shield of Ogapon. And they parting shot Ogapon. Okay. Dimensions return back to normal. I'm going to terrestrialize Ogapon into a water type. And I am just going to air slash the Porygon Z. And we go for a flinch. We haven't weakness policy. We haven't weakness policy procked or got a berserk boost on this Moltres yet. So I'm just hoping to flinch this thing before we get another trick room, and I'm hoping to take the Incineroar out. They've shown Ting Lu, which does not want to be taking an Ivy Cudgel. They've got Incineroar there, that probably doesn't want to be taking an Ivy Cudgel. I'm also terastalizing. I'm getting the water boost from the Wellspring Mask. Um, what else? <laughs> Hopefully they're terror blasting into the Ogre Pond. I get the special defense boost. Um, here we go. Let's see. So Ivy Cudgel into this Incineroar. Hopefully it doesn't live. It doesn't. Wonderful. Sliverwing, this is for you. Right, we're going to air slash and we're going to crit. No, we're not. Oh my goodness. And they get the trick room off. Okay, cool. Right, what are they going into? The issue is, I kind of do want to be. Um, right, so, Ting Lu. There's Ting Lu. Right. It's. It's going to be Horn Leech? Or do I just Ivy Cudgel? I think I Horn Leech Ting and I'm going to protect Moltres on this turn. So protect on the Moltres. They Rock Slide. Hopefully, Ogapon eats it. Eats it well enough. They Terror Blast.
into Ogre Pond, and as long as we don't flinch, which we don't, we take out the Ting Lu. They're down to just their Porygon. We go up to 129. Ah, oh, right. What could they possibly have in the back? They're only going for Terror Blast on their Porygon. So their last is Fluttermane, which should... I'm going to... I'm going to try a nasty plot with Moltres. It's probably the only chance I've got. Unless this is a slow flutter main, I should be... Okay, we go back down to 74. We nasty plot with Moltres. I'm sure this should still be a slow flutter main, a uh, fast flutter main. So we do get the Ivy Cudgel off. We are mask boosted. And we do take it out. So it's now the Porygon against our Comfey, our Moltres, and our Ogapon. So Sliverwing, we did this one for you. Okay. I am going to Spiky Shield. And I'm going to Fiery Wrath. So there's the Spiky Shield. I'm kind of hoping they've just targeted down my Ogapon here. They have Ice Beam. Weakness Policy. Weakness policy procced. Moltres is going all the way in. And we're going to get this single targeted Fiery Wrath off. It don't do enough. But for me it's enough. Um, I am going to... I think to be honest, I just Ivy Cudgel and I Fiery Wrath. Fiery Wrath is 100% accurate, it is. So I'm just going to do that. The battle was cancelled. Wonderful. <sighs> okay, into battle two here, and you can see I bought the exact same four Pokemon as before. This is because the Sliverwing actually looked pretty promising. If they lead the Empoleon, I can Electric Terror Wild Charge their Empoleon. Um, so into battle two, you can see I bought the exact same four Pokemon. And I think it's just because I know that the Ogre Pond can take out the Landorus, uh, even if it chooses to Terra Poison. I have a lot of faith in my Ogre Pond that it might be able to one-shot their Landorus. Um, I see the Empoleon and I think if they lead Empoleon, because they might think I might lead my Incineroar, I can go straight away for the Terra Electric Wild Charge with the Sliverwing and just try and take it out as quick as possible. I also see the Tornado, so I think the Sliverwing with the Wild Charge is good for that. And again, the Moltres and the Comfey have just been such a strong duo. During this whole Global Challenge run, and I didn't do very well at all, but the Moltres and the Comfey were key to a lot of my wins. So I had to bring it. Love the haircut. Empoleon Incineroar. Okay, double intimidates. Are they going to fake out? Yeah, we go for the spiky shield. Hopefully, I don't fake out the um, the sliver wing. I'm hoping you just take the bait of attacking into the sliver wing spot. But let's see. So the idea is, I mean, I know we're intimidated, but I'm kind of hoping a wild charge into the Empoleon may be enough. Um, that's the goal. Sliverwing the Surpriser. Here we go. Spiky Shield from Ogre Pond. Did they fake out? Sliverwing. They didn't. Oh, it's so close. Surf. Surf? Oh, is it weakness policy?
Why? What? I've got an ogre pond on the field, sir. What is? What is happening? Um. I can't believe they just surfed into a wellspring ogre pond. This is this is unhinged. They just they just surfed their own incineral. Yeah, get rid of him. Were you meant to switch into the? No. Horn Luchi and Polion. Um, we leech lifed, didn't we, into the, um, yeah, we leech lifed into you. We get a little bit of health back. Um, right. So, it's, I mean, do I, do I just leave Sliverwing here just to catch a stray? Um, let me see what they go into, because then I basically know their team. So, oh, okay, no, I don't. Um, so Incineroar's here to um, intimidate us a second time. So, Ogre Pond's now at minus two. Um, call me crazy. I'm, I'm going to switch into Moltres. And... Comfey don't really want to be... I mean, we, we we can afford a spiky shield here. We can support, uh, afford a spiky shield. I, why did they knock off the Wellspring? Did they think I was going to switch? So hopefully it's an Earth Power into the Moltres spot. So they fake out Moltres. They sand a Storm. And it shouldn't affect Moltres doesn't affect Moltres. Cool. So, at this point, I'll fiery wrath and I'll um, I'll just go for an Ivy Cudgel into the um, into the Landris, I think. I think I feel good about that. Sliverwing's been preserved for a um, for another first impression. I did switch him out. Yeah, I switched him out because I predicted the Sandseer Storm. Or the Earth Power. One of the ground moves. I don't know. Right. I did just keep Ogre Pond in and it's minus two. And they predicted I'd go for the Ivy Cudgel into that spot, but I didn't. I went for the Landorus Incarnate, who can't substitute now because I took it down with my lovely, beautiful Ogre Pond first. No subs for you. I hate Landris Incarnate. I hate it. Okay. Hey, this 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 was all thanks to the work of Sliverwing in the start. All right, Sliver, you come back in for us. Right. What do we want to do? I think I attempt a nasty plot. And we go out into Sliver. Hopefully they spiky shield. This is what I'm predicting. And they fake out... I want to say they might want to fake out Ogre Pond. Um, so hopefully we get a free nasty plot off. And um, then we have a first impression to use next turn. But we'll see. I mean, they... They ain't gonna Ivy Cudgel enough, are they? Right, so there's fake out into the um, Sliverwing spot. Ivy Cudgel. Berserk. Oh, we just protect. We. Big protect. First impression, the Ogre Pond. Please. Please just go for the Moltres. Please, because I've just nasty plotted. Please go after the Moltres. Oh. Oh, this is... This is just... 
This is the chef's kiss that I've been looking for. Yeah, Flare Blitz. Flare Blitz Sliver. Thank, thank you so much, Sliverwing. Thank you so much, Sliverwing. You know, I've always wanted to play with that Pokemon. Not in a weird way. I've always wanted to use that... Not in a weird way. I've always wanted to... Now that I'm thinking about it too much, I don't know how to word this. I've always wanted to utilise Sliverwing. There we go. On the online ladder. In gameplay. And for some reason, I just thought, hey, next to next to um, Moltres and Comfey, it'll work. Um, we're going to go for the Air Slash and we're going to Floral Healing our Moltres up here. Comfey coming in to clean us up at the end of this battle. Floral Healing. Moltres is super safe. So safe. Air Slash. That was just in case we missed. Just in case we missed the Air Slash. We win. I thought I'd stick the real goat of the video in the background for this bit because Comfey carried me. Comfey and Moltres were the reason why I got the wins that I got. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Join me, become a Squawker buddy, all of that good stuff. Maybe we'll run Moltres and Comfey again. Build the other four Pokemon around them. See how high we can take on the ladder. If you enjoyed, let's go down to the local leisure centre. Let's get our swimsuits, swim shorts, whatever you wear. Let's grab our floaties. Maybe start into the deep end. Yeah, because we're confident. And let's go swimming. I looked into the wrong camera that entire time. But you know what? That was, that was alright. Take it.